We're getting the squeeze on our latest boa constrictors this week on the Reptile Party's YouTube channel. Hello! Welcome again to another episode of the Reptile Party's YouTube channel, also the YYC Nature Center here in Calgary, Alberta. And this week we are talking about boa constrictors. We've had a few new ones come in in the last couple of months. Uh, they've all gone through quarantine and are now going to be going into uh, programming. And Unfortunately, two of the ones we're going to show you are in shed, so they're not quite as pretty as they would usually be. But our first one is a male, and he is a three-year-old motley boa constrictor. So what we're going to see uh, with some of these snakes is sort of some different color patterns. We have basically all one species of boa constrictor, and then we have one other one that we're going to show, but they're just different colors. So you see that there's snow boas that are pure white, there's albinism in boas, uh, lots of different colors and patterns that are all just boa constrictor constrictor, or, uh, or boa constrictor imperator. Now, uh, this guy here, uh, being a male, he's not as big as a lot of other boas and a lot of other boas that we're going to see. Um, he came to us from someone that uh, just needed to rehome him, uh, and uh, I was very, very happy to do that. Um, so motleys, uh, they have sort of this distinctive, they're, they're a bit of a darker snake, and they have kind of a distinctive uh, coloring and pattern. Uh, motley also exists in Central American boas, and we have a Central American boa that's a motley as well. Uh, he has been a sweetheart so far, and uh, we're really happy to have him. So this guy has also uh, actually started to shed, so he'll be going back in his habitat right away and uh, given time to, to rub this off, but it's started to rub a little bit in the habitat. Uh, so it's not going to be a good shed. Um, it'll be a fine shed, but it's not going to be one big piece because it's it's torn a little bit from... Uh, from sitting in the habitat. Uh, this is Yuffie. Yuffie is our male Demerals boa. Uh, Demerals ground boas are a, a nice choice for a boa because they don't get as big as, uh, say, your common boas. Uh, he is definitely small though, even for a male. Uh, they usually do get bigger. I've had Demerals boas in the past and they've been significantly larger than this. When you think about boa constrictors, you usually think of snakes that are found in South and Central America, maybe the Caribbean, but there are actually these guys and a couple of other boa species that are found in Madagascar, which is off the coast of Africa. So somehow, a handful of boas, uh, species like the Kenyan sand boas and the Malagasy tree boas and these guys here, ended up on the other side of the planet. Uh, most of the non-venomous uh, snakes in Australia, Africa, and Asia uh, are pythons, or in Asia they have some colubrids like your Vietnamese blue beauties and stuff like that. So he is another uh, good boy, very popular uh, with people. Just I love I love the contrast in snakes. For some reason, I'm really drawn to dark colored snakes like the demurls and the uh, the Argentine boas, and then at the same time, also some of the morphs like the albinism also really jump out for me. So that is Yuffie, our Demerals boa. So this is Patrick Swayze, our baby ghost boa. So ghost, I think, is a form of hypomelanism. Um, you can see they have a lot of spotting on their patterning, which can be uh, a little stressful for people that keep snakes, because you're like, does my snake have mites? And then the answer is no, it's just got a whole bunch of speckles on it. But, yeah, when I first got him, I sort of had to do a double take and be like, uh, what is your deal? Um, so I named him Patrick Swayze after the movie Ghost, which is before Kira's, who's filming this, this time. It's a classic movie, and you should watch it. Now, that is one of the things with snakes, especially boas, is this is what you're typically going to see in a uh, pet store or at a reptile expo, is this may be a little bit bigger, like up to about a year, but you know, small boas. 
and boa constrictors do not stay small, as our last two snakes are going to display. So this is our adult ghost. Uh, I think he might still have some growing to do. I don't recall how old he is exactly. He was another adoption. Um, so you can see they do get a little bit darker as they age, but not a lot. And a lot of that uh, coloring, uh, that light coloring and that speckling is still uh, very much there. So again, this, you know, it's a strong snake and, uh, and a lot to kind of handle for some people, but this doesn't seem massively huge. The thing about boas is average size for, boa is, uh, for a boa is five to seven feet, but there are exceptions to that rule, which is what we're gonna see now. And this is what you sometimes have to deal with. This boa is a beast. Uh, this snake we got at the beginning of December. Uh, she's been in quarantine and uh, now she's uh, moving into her temporary home at the nature center. And then we are in the process of building a large habitat uh, for our girls as well. Um, this snake is admittedly too big. Um, so we are going to be uh, hopefully with the new habitat and with having her out, she'll get some exercise. Uh, she was being overfed, so we're cutting her back to uh, jumbo rat once a month, um, as opposed to once a week or every couple of weeks that she was being fed. Uh, we might even do uh, less than that. Uh, we, we don't have a weight on her yet. Uh, I just got a scale so we can weigh some of our bigger animals like her and our porcupines, but uh, I can tell you she is heavy from lifting up and carrying the bin. So a snake like this is a challenging pet. She is at least eight feet long. She is all muscle. It drives me nuts when I see people that like walk around with especially big snakes around their necks because if they get startled and they squeeze, that can lead to a disaster. And unfortunately, a lot of media likes their, you know, big scary snake stories. Um, I've seen, you know, in the past, even here in Calgary, there was an article, a news story about an eight foot boa constrictor that was found in an apartment and it was a corn snake. That was about 10 years ago, but you know, they still pop up once in a while where it's like massive snake found in an apartment and it was just a, an escapee. So you want to make sure your pets are secure, especially if you live in an apartment because you don't want your neighbors getting upset. Uh, because, of course, there's a lot of myths. We'd be like, oh, that's going to eat your dog, or that's going to do this, that, or the other thing. Um, but this is an animal that you definitely need to respect um, because they are very large and very strong. As I said, average size for boa is five to seven feet, but they can get bigger, eight, nine, ten feet long. The longest boa ever was 13 feet, and it's the girls that typically put on the size. So far, though, she has been a gentle giant. Uh, we are excited to uh, be able to do events with her and have people meet her and learn about her and get pictures with her. Uh, she's definitely going to, uh, to be an amazing ambassador uh, for us and for snakes in general uh, as we continue to have programs here at the YYC Nature Center as well as go out on tour or do events. So we're excited that she's going to be a part of that. Uh, we got her from someone that uh, medically was no longer able to care for her. Um, so it was, it was very hard. Uh, her mom actually was the one that had to uh, find homes for them. And she was terrified of this snake. It was quite entertaining when Connor went to go pick her up. Uh, she's like, you're going to touch that thing? So, you know, but unfortunately, it's one of those things that, you know, with life, like we can have the best of intentions and... I absolutely understand when it's circumstances like you're hospitalized and you're sick or, you know, you've had a job loss for a while or things like that. It's more the, oh, it got too big. I don't know that was going to happen. I don't want it anymore. That's what bothers me. So that's why, especially with snakes, you want to do your homework. Because if you're not prepared for this, don't get something the size of the ghost boa that we saw a few moments ago. Because you don't know. It could end up being this. So she's definitely going to be a part of future videos, especially when we're uh, headed out and doing some uh, video blogs from uh, the road or from events. So we're very excited. Uh, 
you want to see all those videos and see our past videos, hit that subscribe button. Uh, check out all of our content uh, here. We have everything from snakes to sloths to lizards. We do new videos every Tuesday as well as some bonus videos on Thursdays. So uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. All of our info is below for how you can support us and follow us on social media. And if you're coming to Calgary or if you live here, make sure that you... Uh, Check out the new YYC Nature and Education Center. Book your private experience. You can meet her. You can meet our birds, our porcupines, all sorts of different animals. So take care. I hope everything is awesome with everyone that's watching. And uh, we'll see you next time.